guys, it's Queen BJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting dream to episodes 23 and 24 of Love Chain of Boo and Other Delusions. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 23 and 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, oh. Okay. Is this going to be an episode all about her? I mean, you know, it would make sense to do that. I'm just saying. Yeah. Really? Have you tried calling her? Yeah, but you're I mean, that's your girlfriend. You're supposed to worry about her. Okay. So, I love Soap. But it, it seems like we're about to have a whole episode about her. Good. I do want that. Because with her kind of acknowledging her feelings, that she does have feelings for him once again, it's complicating a little bit. Of things, and because of the fact is that we only really have two more episodes left before I watch the movie, um, I don't know personally how to feel. I'm so I'm happy. I mean, today's been the best day ever for me. We got new Kingdom Hearts news, and that was like the best thing to wake up to. But it's also been the worst day for me because I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch this and working back to back. Right? It's now I've been plotting to do this all freaking day. And so I finally was like, all right, at four o'clock, I'm going to do this, right? Like, no bullshit or anything. And I got this done to be able to put the subtitles on. I did the same thing for working. It's now six o'clock. I'm all ready to watch this fucking show. I'm about to watch working. And then there's no subtitles. And I was just like, uh. And I'm like, <laughs> why is this happening to me? So I have to try at least one more time, but I don't feel like sitting on my bed or doing something for an hour just to wait for that. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to do it tomorrow. We're going to focus on this today. But yeah, today has been a great day for me because Kingdom Hearts and that's all I really care about today. But I also care about this show and then tomorrow it'll be me caring about two other shows plus working and then whatever else and then we, this weekend more Kingdom Hearts. I would love to literally go anywhere, but, you know, due to COVID, I mean, mm, I, I can go somewhere, but, you know, you still gotta wear that fucking mask no matter what, so. And I ain't mad about it. It's just being safe. <laughs> mm. Okay, I was about to say. What? What? <laughs> I mean, nice tan. <laughs> exactly. Come here, baby. Do you want to sit in my lap? There's the picture that Netflix uses all the time. No, no, no. Come on. 
No, I'm not playing. Oh. All right, then. You stay there. Have fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I feel so, so good. Huh? Oh. I hate the sound of those bugs. <clears throat> hey, Shinka. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, most vessels don't really happen until nighttime. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where are you? Really? Honestly, I cannot wait to see how this movie is going to go. And oh, damn. Come here, Cody. Come here. That's my right hand, Cody. Come to my left hand. It's both of your faults. Come on. It's not like you want her to come with you this time, right? I mean, but we still have the movie! Come here. Come here. Now you're still laying in your bed. You know, with her high like that, she kind of looks like, um, Nico. <laughs> Nico is a baby! Oh my god! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> Come here! I know, you just can't help but fall in love with him. I mean, come on. Like, it, it makes the most sense. You, Utah is just like, oh my god. Mm. I can't even help to describe him. I mean, like, cool. That's like literally asking every single girl who's played P5, like, why they fell in love with Joker. You know how long that list would be? <laughs> Oh, was this supposed to be a pretty girl? I mean, pretty girl. Pretty cute reference. <laughs> I can't let myself put it. Yeah, it definitely looks pretty girl-esque. Um, did I just say pretty girl-esque? Pretty cure. Pretty cure. Oh my god. Come here. Thank you. Okay, come here.
my thigh. Come here. No, you walked away again. Cody. Come here, baby. He's three. Three stooges. Oh my god. Come here. Yes. It's so obvious. <sighs> I mean, but is it going to have to be Utah in the, way, in the end? Is he going to have to choose between the two? Like, I don't think this is going to go into the movie because with not counting these two episodes. But, mm -hmm, yeah, look at that face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> She's so cute! Come here! Doing that isn't gonna help though, so come here. Come here. Come here. Don't growl at me. You want attention. Uh, no, nope. come here. You have to come here. There you go. Okay. Alright, I got you. See? If you just would have came here in the beginning, you would have been fine. Oh, so. Hold on, sit up your foot. Wait, wait, no, you don't want them to see each other. This is awkward. So. I mean, you know, so if you could be like, you know, my best girl, Hanegala, and tell you to how you feel, truly, which will let you move on from this. What do you do in that situation? Do you follow your heart and the feelings that you have, or do you just ignore them and get away? And if she does follow her feelings, and if she decides, yeah, let me tell him how I feel and confess my love for him, and he says no, I mean, yeah, it's gonna hurt her. I mean, come on, as a female myself, and when a guy says no to you, yeah, that fucking hurts. Ah. I just feel so god. Mm -hmm. Just imagine.
imagine, like, and I've said it once and I'll say it again, imagine if they got together. Let's just say, like, if they wanted to do, like, a weird alternate universe where they got together, oh my god, I, you know what, honestly, I would love to see it. I mean this one. But I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm a little biased. Like I want her to confess, but at the same time I don't because she knows that like they're dating and it'll feel weird if she does, but at the same time I think she needs to. <laughs> you got stuff on me. Of course. But you know she's hard headed. Which is, but so sweet. What are you playing around in your room? She's not gonna climb up that, is she? I want them to kiss. I don't know. Yeah, you, you touched Pinky's whole hands. I mean, she kissed your cheek. It's the only way that she'll be able to move on. Mm -hmm. 
slowly from time to time it comes back. Big baby. Are you licking my hair? <laughs> no, it's fine. Go. Remember, she is your girlfriend. Oh my god. No, so don't cry. See, I didn't want this. I didn't want to wa I didn't want to be sad today. I wanted to be happy and then sad after I was done watching working. Oh, see, like I said, I didn't want this. I did not want this. I Mm. And you would end like that. Come on, man. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. here, I'll let you out in a minute after I'm done. <sighs> Do you see now why? <laughs> I didn't want to cry. Even though I'm not crying, I didn't want to feel sadness. I wanted to laugh first. And then cry. I mean, unless it was like Fruits Basket. Like we said, when you do both at the same time, I'm just saying. But, oh, God. So funny. Oh, my God. Just as like, I thought, I was like, it's okay. It's okay. He's gone. You can cry about it if you want to. But, and then she goes like this. And I was like, oh, my God. She's literally about to have like the biggest breakdown ever. But then she jumps for joy because she's like, oh, my God. I held back my tears. I didn't, you know, cry over him or anything. And then he comes back. Ah! And now he's going to think it's his fault because he made her cry. Oh my god, this is just, this love triangle is fucking nuts. It is too fucking much, like, oh my god, because you can't help but to ship her with Yuta. I mean, like, like Rika and Yuta, they're in game, no matter what. They're, they're gonna be together no matter what, even when I get to the movie. But you just can't help but to ship her, ship so with Yuta at the same time. And you sit here and you think, what if? It's the, because, like, oh, God, I can't talk about Fruits Basket like that yet because of spoilers and ish. And, oh, God, you know what? No, we're going to do it like this. Like, okay, with Fruits Basket or with any other-esque type of harm where it, it's a one female and a whole bunch of guys and you ship the female with so many freaking characters and there's always that one cannon ship and you know you're just like oh my god like even though you probably know who the cannon ship is you can't help but to ship that person with somebody else because they look so good with them and even though like the moments that they have with them are not as top tier as the cannon ship i hell we could talk about freaking monogatity because as someone who still loves um central hada as like best girl because i mean central hada ish i'm just saying and how much like the romance that you know agaragi and central hada have you can't help but ship like hanekawa with agaragi and even with the movie and that's what it is with this because they just look so cute together and it's just like oh my god i can't i don't know what to do like it's like 
my heart's one thing and then my mind's another. But, oh my god, this is too much for me. Like, God, I hate this. But I love it. It's just so, oh my god. Like, no, this just hurts. And I, I really just wanted her in this episode to just finally, like, talk about the fucking elephant in the room and just address it. Because it would have made her officially be like, I think if she would have said to him, Yuta, I liked you. Our hero, I like you. I've liked you for, like, the longest time. And if he maybe would have said, okay, I, I, like, completely understand that you had this crush on me for the longest time, but I can't reciprocate those feelings. If he would have did that, I would have had no freaking problem with that. If he would have broken her heart down gently and been like, you know what, it's okay, and I can finally cry over it, and I am getting it a little bit of, you know, Monogatsuri on a of Best Girl um, is with, you know, the relationship of them and how she confessed to Agaragi. And he was like, you know, I know, and I'm happy you said that, but I can't reciprocate those feelings. And like, oh God, I, I just, uh, this is so much. Like, uh, if they would have did it like that, I would have been okay. I'm not okay right now with this because the way that this episode just ended and her crying and her running away and he's just like, he's sitting there like, oh, fuck, what the hell did I just do? Like, oh, if he just would have kept on running and didn't go back with that umbrella, everything would have been okay. But things happen for a reason. This is just like the last two episodes of season one in a nutshell for this show. I mean, like, you know, you gotta love YouTube so much. But oh my God, how many girls has he made? <laughs> cry in this show i think it's now like what two three three girls now oh my god i love him though he, he's just so cute i love him too much like oh my god i can't even i can't imagine like what the last two episodes are gonna hold for this show plus the fucking movie and oh my god i'm just i am scared about what the hell is gonna happen next like is he gonna run after her of course he needs to i mean come on now like you can't like you cannot, like, seriously, leave her there to run off on her own. Like, what if she gets hurt? Like, let's think about that a little bit for a second. I mean, as my, uh, oh my god, this is so, uh, I am so aggravated. Like, everything that's going on in my mind right now, like, I don't know. But, oh uh, god, I don't want him to stand there like an idiot. He either needs to do one or two things. One of three things. Either continue standing there like an idiot, go after so, or go find Rika, and then eventually try to find Soph again and, like, have a conversation about this with her. Because it's now, if he doesn't go after her, or even if she he does go after her, it's going to make their relationship a little awkward because their relationship is now awkward because of this episode. And so it's like, how do, where do they go from this? Like, what the, I don't know anymore. Like, he, honestly, really, because put yourself in both Yuta and so situation in their shoes. And you are there with someone who you really have feelings for, and let's say they're with somebody else, but you're still trying to, you know, shoot your shot with that person and how you would feel if like they ran off and you were like, okay, yeah, I wasn't able to cry or anything, but then they come back and you just start crying and you run away. Like, how would you really tru truly be in that moment? Like, I, oh God, I can't, I can't, this episode in my mind right now, and it, like, deep, deep, deep inside myself, I am crying right now, like, even though I am not showing it, but I am, oh god, I am a mess, I am a mess like I was on Monday with Yuki in the Fruits Basket episode, because that freaking hurt me, and even though I'm ready for more Fruits Basket, at the same time, I am like, no, I'm not, because I'm not ready to get hurt all over again, you know, mm. but go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 24. Okay, episode 24 in 3, 2, 1, go. See, it even hurts even more seeing her like that. Yeah, uh-huh. So super dense. Super dense!
Yeah, it's not easy to get sick. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's what you get. Okay. We can condemn him for running after her. I love that. I love him. But he didn't catch up with her. She probably went home. God, this is just... This is so awkward! I hate this. Uh! Hmm. You gotta fix this. He has to fix this. The only way he can fix it. See, just, oh my god, I'm about to tear up over this. Ah, oh, God, stop it. Oh, fuck. I can't do this. This is too much, should I? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. She's just so precious. Like, oh, my God. She just, she reminds me of how, of why I love, like, Violet from Violet Evergarden so much. And, like, seeing Violet cry. Oh, my God. Like, that. Or my baby Azanyan seeing Azanyan cry like oh my mm. and she's just hiding it beside oh, I don't love I can't do this oh my god. I don't want to be tearing up again, damn it. I hate this. Uh-oh. No, you need to stay in bed. You're sick, damn it. God. Yeah, mm -hmm. You're going into an isekai, right? Mm -hmm. The rising of the shill hero, freaking melty, best child. Yeah, she's fine. She just needs at least one more day away from school and some good sleep and some food and she'll be okay. Um, exactly. And plus, you don't want to be a little too close to her like that. What if you get sick? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Drink lots of water and some soup, porridge. Eat some crackers. I would love to have some crackers right now. I don't know why. Mm. I know. Exactly. Yeah, you need to talk to her. You can't be in multiple relationship with multiple girls. You need to talk to her and break it off. 
me yeah, we, we're, you, we, oh my god, we do know, but sometimes you have to be smart about it, and you have to find the answer. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. You deserve that. I honestly thought she was going to punch him. But you deserve that, though. Hmm? No. So? Well, that's another one that's going to get sick. No. But you're, you're you're just lying to yourself, so. Oh my. Okay. All right, Yuta. You're not like Kazu, but you're acting like Kazu. Oh God, please. Listen to the senpai. No.
And so she's going to try. This girl won't, even though she is sick. Oh my God. Hi. That's why she. She's not going to be stupid and climb up that thing, right? No, you're not. Are you?
I know. <laughs> but not when you're sick, though. <laughs> Mm, the chaos emeralds. Uh, oh, oh my lord. Oh my god. Why did I feel like this episode was going to end on a cliffhanger? Of course. Too late, no. That literally has no feelings for you anymore like that. Oh,
physical, but uh, I swear to God, if she's not featured in these last two episodes to end the season, I mean, cool, your girl will be fucking pissed, but it was a turn on for her. I mean, she doesn't have those feelings for him anymore, and honestly, I'm glad, because Rika, Utah, Endgame, best couple in this show, I'm sorry, the only couple in this show that they belong together, I'm sorry. They're just so freaking cute, and I love them so much. But like, oh, it was for her to literally go through. It was her battle at the end of the day, no matter what, because she had to do it alone, and it was going to be the only way for her to move on and start anew and become a new. And now she's a different person, and she doesn't have feelings for him like that anymore. And I'm glad because she gets to be on her own, and I think honestly that's what she needs. She needs most characters before rushing into it in a relationship they kind of need that self-love first and that's what she really needs right now yeah she's she was denying it for so many episodes and then yeah coming back and be like mm, yeah i like you and then here we go with yeah i like you but mm, the feelings i don't feel that same way even though she just battled the other version of him and then she moved on from it and she found love within herself i mean because if he's like i'm gonna be who is Itself. Like, oh my god. Uh, I, I love her so much. And I, it just it just feels like this is the last episode she's going to be featured in. With that bye-bye, it just makes it like, are you freaking telling me she's not going to be in the very last episode of season two plus the OVA? I don't know if she's even going to be in the movie. Don't tell me on that. Because I'm going to watch it a ASAP. Oh, hell, I'm not even... Uh... Sunday. Sunday, I might watch the last two episodes of the show so that I can go ahead and kind of get the movie done later on in the week. And it depends because it's going to take me a while. Um, I don't know, but it, it'll be really messed up if they if we go into the very last episode of the show, plus the OVA, whatever the OVA is going to be about. And she doesn't make an appearance. It'll feel really, really weird and out of place because it's kind of like with some characters that I've seen in OVAs for TV shows, um, for animes, where, excuse me, they were put as, like, the main as character in whatever season arc that we were in, but then the OVA, they essentially don't get that much attention or cared about because typically an OVA is just a filler-esque episode. Not to say that this is going to be a filler-esque episode because it seems like with the OVA of season one, it's very important to this show because let's go back to last week's episode and the girl who had the biggest crush on Dekamati. And it, it's going to have something to do with the what's going to happen with like the way the show is going to end going possibly into the movie, kind of how, like, with k um, the OVAs that I had watched before I watched the movies, they were leading into them planning the trip to go to London and such like that, and then k the movie, they go to London, and I cry again over Azania and Best Girl, but I don't know if they're going to do that with this. I would want them to do something else like it, because I think it's interesting where they can take something from, you know, any series that they've done and then try to still compile it into the movie as well but I don't really know it could be maybe a couple of months or a year after the OVA as season one and season two have been you know done and then this movie could just be something that takes place maybe after they've all graduated high school but I don't know I, I would rather still them still be in high school and sort of like Here's them in college, and she's in her genie from Stitcher phase, and she hasn't gotten over it. But it could be the following summer before whatever grade they have to go into. But, like, honestly, I don't know what to expect, especially with two episodes of the movie left. But I know it's going to surprise the hell out of me. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episodes 23 and 24 of Love, Shinobu, and Other Delusions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next <clears throat> next Monday for... I'm about to say next Monday. Yeah, let's say it anyway. Next Monday for everybody else, and next Friday for Patreons for the final episodes to see how in the world this show is going to end overall, my final thoughts on this show, and then eventually after that, the only thing that I'll have left is the movie, and 
is this show going to make me end up like, crying? That's the biggest thing I want to know for these last few things that I have to do. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.